Hi, I'm Dave Gardy for Cybersecurity TV from our studios here near Washington, D.C. for another special presentation in the Steel Cloud Compliance Automation Series. And joining me here in the studio is Mr. Brian Hages, who's the COO of Steel Cloud. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Why is there such a recent focus on secure software development? Well, I think um, it goes along with there's been a lot more focus on cyber throughout all of the IT activities, but a, a couple of things have changed recently. One, um, we had in the last two years executive order that directly addresses both supply chain um, and uh, aspects of secure software. And the other we had with uh, 853 Rev 5, um, which in the RMF process brings in supply chain and the development of software is certainly front and center is part of the supply chain for the software infrastructure in the government. Why is it important to implement security early in the development process? Well, like everything else you can do early in a process, um, security is, is best addressed early because you're building a foundation of software that, that is expensive to change later. So the things that would cost a little bit of money um, to fix, if known, in the early development stages um, would be very expensive, sometimes impossible to do later. So if you can catch as many things, make sure you're on the right track early in, this, in the development process, it will alleviate uh, time issues and expense issues down the road. What are the benefits of introducing compliance early in the DevOps phase? Well, it goes back to that expense phase that you're dealing with a, a foundation of development in which you know isn't going to have to take a hard right-hand turn or left-hand turn as you go through the RMF and authorization phase. So again, if you have a process in which you can capture uh, those things early, address the things early, and build them into your development uh, plans, um, again, the, the speed and cost uh, will be affected later. Why does compliance automation, or especially STIG or CIS benchmarks, figure early into play the DevOps process? Well, if you think of DevOps, it's development and operations. Uh, STIGs and CIS, depending on the organization where they've adopted one of those two standards, is part of their operational, um, uh, operational systems. So if you're going to develop software so that uh, it will operate in the customer environment, uh, it should be tested and developed around STIGs and CIS. Uh, both are fairly intrusive without automation to do, which is why they're normally not done in the development process um, very often. But with automation, a customer, a developer can easily implement uh, STIG or CIS testing uh, in early phases uh, and throughout the development process. Can you tell us a little bit more about how DevOps and DevSecOps are related and about the goals of each one? Well, there, there's, there's some confusion because they're both the same. It, it really is the focus or, or including the focus on security when you're looking at DevOps. So when you look at DevOps, is development to work in an operational environment. When you look at DevSecOps, you're looking at development securely to work in the environment. So it is developing secure software in a secure environment to be able to run in a secure operation. So being able to, again, to test um, the software components uh, in a compliant environment that simulates that would be that they would be installed in is something that's um, really beneficial for the development process. And how can Steel Cloud help with these goals? Steel Cloud provides automation for both STIG and CIS. So it allows a development organization to do testing early in the development cycle and throughout the development cycle, push a button, stand up a STIG environment, do a unit test, the software run, does something break, hit a button, go back to your development environment and make sure uh, very agilely uh, gives you the agile ability to uh, test in a, a STIG or CIS compliant environment. Well, thank you. We appreciate the time you've taken today. We've been speaking with Brian Hagios, who's the COO of Steel Cloud, and for another in the Compliance Automation Series from Steel Cloud. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Thank you. I'm Dave Gardy for Cybersecurity TV from our studios here near Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching.